Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to remove uh, braces on Photoshop. I only use one layer to do this, and here's the before and after. I'm going to just put it in a folder and hide it so we don't see it anymore. And now I'll bring this one up and we start from zero. So this is the photo that has the braces, and I'm just going to zoom in. The first thing I'm going to do is grab a selection tool. I'm going to bring in the quick select tool and just select all her teeth. Try to get rid of any extra parts like the lips or the lower teeth. Right before we do anything, I am going to drag the layer down to the second to last icon here, and it's gonna make just a copy of it. So we're gonna work on the top layer. And what I'm gonna do there is press the third icon and it's going to bring up a mask. So now this is your base image and then here is what we're going to be editing. If I just remove the bottom layer, you can see that the top layer is literally just the teeth, the selection you made. So that's what we're going to be editing. And if I bring it back, you see the entire image as a whole. That's why we need both parts. So right here, I'm on the top layer and I have selected the black square, which is the mask, I'm going to make sure that I'm selecting the picture of the girl, not the mask. Now just to show you why we did the mask, I'm going to take my paintbrush and get bright red and just brush right there. So I brushed all across and the only thing being affected is her teeth because that was the layer mask that we created. So that's why we make a layer mask so it doesn't um, affect anything else. I'm just going to show you one or two teeth because I'm not going to go over the entire thing. Uh, once you get how to do it, you can do the entire mouth. So I'm going to take the lasso tool, and there's many ways to do this, but this is just the way I find easiest. I'm going around the thick part of her braces, and I'm going to hit Shift and F5. Now this will bring up Fill. If that doesn't work, you can also go to Edit, Fill, and that'll bring up the same thing. Make sure it says content aware, make sure color adaptation is not checked off. This is normal and 100% opacity. So just bring that to OK. And that's what we're left with. So obviously there is some smudging and, you know, some stuff going on around there. And that's fine. So uh, again, like I said, there's many ways to do this. I'm going to take my selection tool again and click the tooth. So basically it goes around the entire tooth. If you're missing some pieces like this, you can add to your selection. So I'm going to take my paintbrush by pressing B or going to the left and I'll bring the opacity down to uh, 50 is fine. And so you want to make the brush small enough to cover these areas, these smudges, and I'm going to press option, click, and that'll give me the color that is right there. And I'm going to start painting. So this is a darker color, I'm going to paint just the shadows. Now I'm going to head on to the left side that's lighter, so I'm going to click there again, option, click, and paint on there, and then again, option, click at the bottom, and paint the entire bottom. Now the middle is darker, so I'm going to bring it in a little bit more. This highlight over here, I'll bring it in, and just kind of play with it until everything is more or less even. But don't get rid of the shadows, like the right side has a shadow, make sure you don't click here and then click there because then it just looks like a flat tooth. Once you think it looks okay, I feel like it could use a little work, but I'm just going to get rid of the selection and zoom out because zoomed in it looks a little uh, uglier <laughs> than it does when you zoom out. So looking at it before and after, it looks pretty good. Um, yeah, I think that's fine. I could probably fix here a little bit, but you get the idea. You just paint until it looks right. So I can zoom in again and paint in again. It's just kind of trial and error. Yeah, that looks better. So you just keep painting and make sure that you don't forget to um, select. So if you're working on this tooth, make sure you make a selection of the tooth before you start working because what happens is that since you're using a paintbrush, let's say I paint this, then you start getting out, then you know the 
tooth is going to start appearing over here. So just make sure you select. Now I'll do one of the teeth here on the side just so you could see how I do those. Again, I'm going to trace around and I'm going to not follow the braces, but follow where the tooth would be. So same thing here, use the brush option, click and just paint on. You could have done content aware here too, um, but I know that it would work also with this, so it's up to you. And I'm gonna bring opacity down a little just so I can add a tiny shadow over here that doesn't make the whole tooth dark. The rest of the piece here that's part of the braces, I'm going to just trace around. And then here you're gonna take the paintbrush and paint from this, the next tooth because that area, if there were no braces, you would just be seeing the other tooth. And the same thing with the gums right here. I'm just going to trace the gums, brush, and fill that in. So as you can see before and after, it totally took care of it. And there is no trace of the braces in those parts. So you just do that to the entire um, mouth, wherever you have braces, top or bottom teeth. And once you're done, it'll look like this. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.